What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and today I'm going to be going over every single hidden article of clothing that you can get in Pokemon Sword and Shield's Crown Tundra. <laughs> All right, let's start off with the basics. Soon as you talk to Peony, you can get the Expedition Uniform, and after completing Adventure 1, 2, and 3, you get the Gold Expedition Uniform, which is the same uniform, but in gold. And then once you're done doing all the Expedition stuff, you're probably going to want to change back into your regular clothes. However, the Expedition Uniform, it kind of makes some dope Tims for the outfit, so 10 out of 10 recommend. Now let's go after the fun hidden stuff. Do you remember where you got Slowking? Over here, in the Frigid Sea. And then from the Frigid Sea, you take the left path out, and then you head inside of this cave over here. And this is the woman who makes the Galarcia wreaths for you. Well, if you speak to her with the Slow King in your party, you are going to be getting yourself the Boatneck Sweatshirt King, which is a slowpoke on a sweater, and I'm going to be showing that momentarily. In addition, from the mayor in Freezington, if you do the Calyrex quest line, you're going to be getting yourself another sweater, which is very similar to the... Slowpoke one. The Slowpoke one is here, the Boneck Sweater, Poke. And the one from the Mayor is the Freezington's Frame, Boneck Sweater. Which honestly, pretty dope. Hang on, I bet you didn't expect me to pause the video right now, but I did. And I just wanted to let you know that I appreciate you. And I appreciate you checking out my coverage of Pokemon Sword and Shield's Crown Tundra. And you know what? Thank you for supporting the channel by watching this video. But if you want to help support me a little bit further and get some sweet dope merch out of the deal, then do I have good news for you because right now, we have a limited run of our brand new merch, which is called Poke, inspired by this crew neck sweater. And I think it's adorable. And I'm gonna buy them myself and wear them because how can you not love that? And while we're at it, did you know about the sweet dang gym leader duffel bags with Austin John plays? Letting everyone know that you're a gym leader with the super dope pattern of all the Kanto badges? I didn't think you did, because it's also dope. Check it out at austinjumpplays.com slash merch. That's enough about clothes. Let's get back to the video about clothes. If you see my video on the rewards for completing your Pokedex, speaking to this woman with a complete Pokedex is going to get you the brand new crown, which is called the Replica State Crown Original Style. I'm not going to include what that looks like in this video, so you don't spoil yourself. Although you could definitely just probably, I don't know, check out that video. Next up is going to be the sport top and outfit from the Galarian Star Tournament. For that, you have to do the Galarian Star Tournament quest, so I'm gonna go do that real quick. A few moments later. Wait a second. At the end of the Galarian Star Tournament, we have to listen to the band again? Oh, it's the credits again. Just when I thought I was gonna be like, oh, it's gonna be like a quick 10 minute break. Nope, just became 20 minutes. I wonder if the, the mouse is still visible in the last frames. Let's commemorate my victory with the sport uniform and a million dollars. That's pretty awesome. Is ball guy gonna give me a ball? Why is he crying? What's wrong, ball guy? 100 Pokeballs? Cool, I was actually needing to go out and get more for the Dynamax Adventures. Here is the Galarian Sport Uniform, which is pretty dope. You have a whole bunch of sponsors on you, including the Game Freak logo. I always think that's a nice touch. Next is going to be the designer outfits for the Winden Stadium. However, in order to unlock it, first you have to go to the Isle of Armor train station. Inside of the Isle of Armor, here is the designer. I'm a world-renowned designer of fashion. You're a Galarian, I presume. This is my first time setting foot in this region, and I must say, it seems rather deserted. Uh, you're on the Isle of Armor. I beg your pardon, I disembarked at the wrong station? How fortunate you were here to steer me true. The most heartfelt gratitude to you. And he has an outfit for $3,000. Great, I'm gonna go buy that. A WFG Ensemble containing a casual tee, a hoodie, pattern tights, and a sport cap. I'm starting to think that was an outfit that I needed from the last DLC that I just never got. Here is the WFG top. I believe this is all of the Galarian starters in yellow. It's really dope, honestly. WFG, pretty sure that's not from this DLC. Nope, it's not, great. The WFG pattern tights, the WFG hat. But anyways, if you got that and you already spoke to him, you just need to head over to Winden Stadium now. And you'll see him over here on the left. Now he has special text if you have Reggie Alecki caught, and if you have Reggie Drago caught, I do not know if they need to be in your party. Let's test that out right now. We're, we're gonna get the C and L ensemble containing a hoodie, pattern tights, neat. The C and L hoodie, I'm, I'm not really too sure what's on that. The C and L pattern tights, 
That's what you get for completing the Galarian Star Tournament. Then speak with him again. It's Regieleki smashing. Okay, so I don't know if it has to be in your boxes or in your party. It doesn't have to be in your party, I know that. Maybe just registered in your Pokedex. Well, anyways, you're going to get the RE hoodie. And if you have Reggie Drago, then you're also going to get the RD hoodie. Here is the Reggie Alecki hoodie. The Reggie Drago hoodie. There is one additional piece of clothing that we can get before the futuristic shades and monocles. The, the ones that you may be watching this video for. And it does require you to have Meltan. However, at this time, you cannot get Meltan in Pokemon Sword and Shield. At the time of recording, you have to transfer it from Pokemon Go into Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Back inside of Pokemon Sword and Shield with Meltan. Don't believe he has to be in your party. Right now, I just have him in my boxes. Speak with this woman. Oh, that Pokemon. Is that the Hexnut Pokemon Meltan? Sure is, it's a mythical Pokemon. And you're gonna get the Hexnut Sport Cap. Neat. Here is the Hexnut Hat. <laughs> On the top you see a whole bunch of Meltan, and at the bottom are Hexnuts. Nope, those are machine screws. <laughs> and then the very last thing is going to be the Futuristic Shades and the Futuristic Monocle, which are from some of the villains in the previous Pokemon games. And these are going to be given out randomly from Peonia in the Max Lair Den after doing Dynamax Adventures. So she's gonna sell you like locations of certain Pokemon. By the way, I picked up this odd thing in the Max Lair. You can have it. White Futuristic Shades. Neat. Wow, she gives you a whole bunch of fun, helpful information. After you do every single mission in here, you just want to speak to her a few times. She's gonna try to sell you a pathway, but then after that, she may randomly give you one of these articles of clothing. Let's go take a look-see at the white shades that we got. There we go. Look at that. That's dope. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have the additional shades on screen right now, as well as the monocles. And great. Guys, that's gonna be wrapping up all the articles of clothing that you can get in the brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC Crown Tundra. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.